teams in the world now rarely make an outlet pass. You'll rarely see an outlet pass. All the best teams in the world, when they get a rebound, they're gone. They start dribbling. Away they go. So with these gentlemen here, if a couple of them get a rebound and don't dribble, after we've taught it, then I will be saying to them, dribble! And there could be, I don't know yet, there could be a couple who don't know how to dribble. That's okay. Take one dribble, then make a pass. Then take two dribbles and make a pass. And it won't take long, they'll make dribble after dribble after dribble to get the ball up the floor. And as soon as someone's open in front of them, move the ball up the floor. Move the ball up the floor, all right? One of the other concepts is what we call B1 and E2. B1 is beat one defender. When you have the basketball, you are expected to beat one defender. And a lot of young kids that you coach, when they get the basketball, if they see a defender, a lot of times they freeze because there's a defender in front of them. So we do drills, and that's how we're going to start right now with these guys, is we do drills that are B1, which is beat one defender. If you can beat one defender, you have a number to advantage. With a number to advantage, you're going to do very well. So we do drill right away. Uh, uh, B1. And then E2 will do that today as well, is when you engage a second defender, which is a health defender. When you engage a second defender, pass a ball. B1 is beat one defender. E2, you engage a second defender, pass a ball. Pass a ball. And that gets everybody involved. It gets everybody involved in the game. Boys are way worse than girls. You might see it today. Um, boys are much worse than girls at going B1, B2, B3, B4. Look at me, coach. I beat everybody. That's not our style of play. Our style of play is B1, E2. If you beat one defender and then there's help, pass the ball. So that's the style of play. All right? And there's a list here of about 20 different things where our national team changed how they play the game of basketball, and our women have now vaulted to fourth in the world. They are now where they said they wanted to be, is with the best in the world. And they just had a world championship in the fall, and they finished fourth, and doing real well, and they use a lot of these concepts. Um, on page uh, two in that handout is an outline of how we might want to teach style of play. Uh, I won't get to all of it today, but I'm going to get started here right away with some B1E2, and then we're going to start adding some spacing and some action. And again, if there's any questions about any of this stuff, ask me later. If it's something that's real pressing you want to ask me right now, that's fine. I prefer if you did it later because we spend time answering questions. We're going to run out of time in a hurry. Gentlemen, you need a partner in the ball. Here we go. Partner in the ball. Down on the baseline. Down on the baseline. On the baseline. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Right here on this end here. You guys are in last place. Not, not anymore. Ethan's in last place. Come on, Ethan. Uh, Max, right? And Kane. Max, you got the ball. Kane guard him. Max, you're going to try and score at that basket. Here's how we do that. Get out of bounds. Come on, JR1. When we bring the ball down the floor to help us with our spacing, we're bringing it down an alley. And your alley is from the free throw lane, so real close to the green line. To the white line. You've got to stay in your alley and try and beat him to the rim and try and score. You can play as good a defense as you want. If you're going outside the alley, get back in the alley and try and score down there. Then you guys switch and you're gonna you're gonna dribble Kane down the alley, the right alley, and try and score this basket. Okay, ready? Go. Get Max. Change your speed. Good. Beat him, Max. B1. Beat one defender. Good. Next two. Here we go. Next two. Okay, hold it, stop. You're already outside the alley. Cam, you're outside the alley. White line to green line. Uh, yeah, it is your fault. Yeah, okay, here we go. Beautiful. Come on, Kane, let's go. There you go. B1, B1 defender. Yeah, come on. Good move, good move. Stay in your alley, stay in your alley, stay in your alley. Good, next two, here we go. Come on, George. <laughs> Sit, shy. Good, go, 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 go. That's all right, go get it, keep going. That's it, Jonah had a boy. B1, beat him, beat him, beat him. Beautiful. Come on, William. Almost, almost. Max, you're gonna go to the other side. Wait till they're all done. Wait till they're done. You're gonna go to the other side. Other side. Wait till they're done. So get off the floor, Kane. Kane, get off the floor. Good defense, Atta boy. Good D, good D. 
George, try and score. George, try and score. Stay in the alley. Beautiful. Well done. Okay, hold on, hold on. Hold on, JR. All right. A lot of times in the past, we would do dribbling drills where players are dribbling from sideline to sideline, crossover dribbles through the legs, behind the back, spin dribbles. They become great dribblers when there's no defense. But as soon as you get in a game and there's defense, they can't dribble anymore. So when we do our dribbling drills now, we do it with defense like they're doing here. We'll teach different dribbles. We're not teaching dribbles today, but we will teach uh, different dribbles. But we do it with defense. And I'll tell you, it won't take long. You'll see your weakest dribblers become pretty good in a hurry. It doesn't take long. Okay, same thing on the left alley. Here we go. Yeah, JR. Yeah, beat him, beat him, beat him. That a boy. It's all right. Good D cam. Good D cam. Come on, who's coming? Oops. Get out of the way. Get out of the way, JR. Stay in your alley. Stay in your alley. Good. Yes, yes. Well done. Nice drive, Cam. Nice drive. Get to the rim. Get to the rim. Get to the rim. All right. Hurry up. Go to the rim. Yeah, William. Good drive, William. Okay, that's it. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Okay, you're on the baseline. Max, Max, that's good. That's good. Don't go yet. Wait till, wait till they're out of the way. Wait till they're out of the way, Ethan. Here we go, George. Wait, Ethan, just wait. Here we go, George. Here we go. Beat him, beat him, beat him, beat him. Go to the rim. Go to the rim, George. Go to the rim. There you go. a boy. Well done. Yeah. Good D, William. Good defense. Good D, good job, well done. That's it, Ethan. Oh, you had him beat, you had him beat. Right now, go to the rim. Oh, you had him. Yeah, good drive, good drive, good drive. We only need one ball now, gentlemen. Put the other ones in the rack. One ball, keep a good one. Whenever you have the basketball, you are responsible to beat one defender. Call that B1. If you ever hear me as a coach say B1, that means one player's guarding you, beat that player. Just like we're doing now in the drill. Alright? You two are now on the same team. Okay. No, actually you two be on the same team. Okay? Come on over. You got the ball here. On this side, facing the facing backboard. Yeah, facing the backboard. Right here. Right here. Facing backboard. Boom. Right there. Come behind me. You guys are on the same team. You guys are on the same team. I need to. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to toss it off the backboard, you're going to get a rebound. As soon as you get the rebound, you start dribbling, you can pick the right alley or the left alley. It's up to you. It doesn't matter which alley you pick. You have to pick the opposite alley. So if he throws a rebound, if he gets a rebound up there and you both go to the right alley, bad spacing. He gets to choose which alley he wants, you got to pick the opposite alley. Then you guys are going to go two on two, there'll be two defenders trying to score down there, and then they're going to come back two on two. Let's get two defenders. Come on now, two defenders. Come on now. Boy, you guys, you guys got great effort. That's awesome. Jonah, get in here. Adam, boy. Okay, offense, defense, offense, defense. Let's just walk through this. B1 is B1 defender. This is called E2. Here's what E2 is. Throw it off the backboard. Pick an alley. Okay, good, stop. You gotta go to the other alley. Who's guarding who? Okay. Now, as you're going B1 in your alley, get in your alley. You're going B1, you're trying to beat this guy defensively. Let's say you start coming middle, and you help. Okay, and you help. You just freeze, you've just engaged a second defender. Anytime you engage a second defender, we call it E2, you pass to your teammate. Pass to your teammate, Can go back and guard him. Stay there, JR. Now, JR, you're going B1. Stay at the level of the ball, because we're working on B1, E2 here, all right? So you're trying to beat him. If you beat him, you beat him to the basket. But if you start coming middle and you engage a second defender, come middle, you engage, pass right away. Now you're going B1 trying to score. Okay, let's start from scratch. Start from scratch. You're going two on two down, look to score. And then Jonah and, and Kane, you guys are coming back two on two. You don't have to start like this down there. Just get the ball and come back. Okay, here we go. 
Go, B1, beat him. That's it. That's all right. Stay in your alley, stay in your alley, stay in your alley. Go, 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 Kane, go, Kane. B1, in your alley. B1, defender. Atta boy. Good. B1, Jonah. Atta boy. Right there, pass. Great pass. Well done. What a nice pass. All that freeze. Kane, did you try and beat him? No. All right, we go B1 first. Uh, JR, did you leave your alley? Yeah. yeah. Why? Exactly. All right, there was no reason to leave your alley. Stay in your alley. Let's get four more guys. Let's go. Four more. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Let's go. Offense, defense, offense, defense. These guys got to learn how to hustle. Offense, defense, offense, defense. You good? You know who your partner is? Here we go. Pick an alley. Go. B1. Beat him. All the way, all the way, all the way. Very nice. Throw it in. Hold it. Throw it in like any game. Yeah. Get out of bounds. Hold it. You weren't out of bounds. We got referees coming later that'll tell you that's a violation. You're going to lose the ball. Yeah. Now you're out of bounds. Go. B1. Beat him. Beat him. Come on, Ethan. Beat him. E2. E2. Yeah. Excellent idea. That's all right. Right idea. Let's go. Four more. B1. E2. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Here we go, Max. Yeah, beat him, Max. <laughs> it's all right. Beat one defender. Beat one defender. B1. Good for you. Nice pass. Almost. Almost. That's all right. Throw it in and go. Throw it in and go. Where's the defense? Good job, Cam. Four more. Here we go. Four more. Go, Jonah. Atta boy. Beat him, Jonah. Stay in your alley. Stay in your alley. Stay in your alley. Beat one defender. Rebound and go. Rebound and go. Out of bounds. Oh, that's a travel. You went out of bounds. If you get a rebound, George, just go right away. Okay, go. Beat him, Shai. Beat him. E2, right there. Did you engage a second defender? Yeah, that's when you pass. That's when you pass. So we do this over and over again so that we go B1, E2. Yes and no. So the yes part would be if they're doing that intentionally to get a wide open teammate, that's perfectly fine because we have a numbered advantage. But if we can beat them on the other side, other side, the number one, <coughs> we haven't approached it yet, the number one three-point shot in the game of basketball comes from the corner. So we always put players in the corner. So if, if I stay on the other side and then I can draw that defender and, and kick it out for a three, that's also high priority. So we would have options on both sides. But yeah, it can be done. Once more, let's go again, once more. There we go. <clears throat> go, JR. You got him, JR. Beat him. That's it, William. Good D. Yeah! Right there. Nice pass. Perfect. 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 Yeah. Throw it in. That was so well done. Here we go, William. B1, buddy. Yes. Nice. E2. Right there. Great pass. Well done. Well done. Well done. So we do B1, E2 drills every single day so that kids learn to beat a defender. There's a lot of mistakes here. I'm not going to point them all out. All right, we're just going to focus on B1, E2. Let's get two players out here. <clears throat> Approximately where these green lines meet, that's a guard position. Guard position. Gentlemen, in line with this black hash line outside the three-point line, we need a winger. Do we have pennies? And we need a winger on the other side. in line with the, uh, the the corner and the rim. So just outside that box is a corner position. All right? Okay. So uh, yeah, you can give it to those five there unless you think you should split them up a little differently. Sure, split them up differently. Good. This is just like the NBA, Charlie. You just got traded. That's all. No big deal. J. 
Jacob, switch with Jacob. JR1, you're off. NBA trade. Kane, you got the ball. When we come down the floor, gentlemen, in transition, we go B1, E2. When we get down the floor, then we want to occupy positions on the floor. We have two guard positions, two wing positions, and two corner positions. We have to occupy five of the six positions. Right now, the distance between the corner and the wing, give or take, is 15 feet, 15 feet, 15 feet. This is what we call a single gap. When we are in a single gap, it is very difficult to get to the rim. Our number one priority is to get to the rim offensively. So we need to create what we call double gap. Go to the other corner. Okay, that's the fastest you guys have moved all day today. Good for you, Jonah. The distance now between these two players is what we call a double gap. Now this player can get to the rim a lot easier. Because the defender is probably over here somewhere. So he's got a lot more space to get to the rim. Jonah, back to you. Beautiful. If you're in a single gap, you can't get to the rim. It's too difficult. So we're going to now spend some time creating double gaps. And here's the first one we're going to do. We're going to pass to a teammate. Hang on to the ball, Jonah. You are going to cut to the basket. If you don't get the ball, get your head under the basket, exit to the corner. And what do we have here? Stay over there. Jacob, what do we have here? Double gap. So now this player, this player can attack the double gap here. You can't attack it this way. This is your single gap. Your double gap is over there. So you can attack that way. Okay? You're not doing it yet, though. I know you're a great player, but you're not doing it. In the old days, come back again, Kane. And some of you might be familiar with this. Ball back to Kane. You're going to pass and cut, and you want to fill as soon as you possibly can. All right? Pass, cut, fill. We used to do this all the time. Watch this. This is incorrect, by the way. Pass. Cut, fill. What did we just lose? A double gap. And in London, we were going pass, cut, fill, pass, cut, fill, pass, cut, fill, as fast as we could, because we thought speed in offense was the advantage. It's not the advantage. Come back, King. The advantage is to create a double gap and give him, ball back to King. Pass the other side this time. Pass, cut. This player now has to delay two seconds, wait two seconds, so you can use your double gap. If you like it, go to the rim and score. I like it. Do you like it? Good, go score. Beautiful, all right? Score. Yeah. There's, there's 75 people here watching you. You gotta score. So here's what we're gonna do, gentlemen. You are all gonna jog in a circle in the key in a moment. One of you are gonna shoot the basketball. All five of you are rebounders. Whoever gets the ball, you take off with the dribble right away and look to pass to a teammate. And score a layup at the other end. All right, as fast as you can. We are now working on pace and the rebound and go, no outlet. Our space is gonna be messed up, but we'll fix that later, all right? Ball here. All five of you get in the key. One of you guys come out and shoot the ball. Come on, buddy. Jog in a circle. Susie shoots, all five of you are rebounders. Susie shoots, rebound. Go, 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 full speed, full speed, dribble. Give it up. No, give it up. We want a layup, we want a layup. Good, throw it in, throw it in. And come back and do the same thing, go. Who's open, who's open? Okay, well done. Kane, you're the slowest runner in the group so far. You're gonna fix that, right? Add a boy. Five green shirts in the key. Let's go, five green shirts in the key. Gentlemen, the goal on this is as fast as possible. All five of you are getting down the floor. We want to lay up down there. When the ball is being shot, all five of you have to be in the key. If you're not in the key, you get to work on building your shooting range, your muscles, what's the push All right, we good with that? We need a shooter. Dog in a circle. All five of you are rebounders. Rebound! Go, 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 go! Quick! <clears throat> Come on, Shai! Give it up! Good. Good. Same thing coming back. Quick! Well done. All right. <clears throat> it's all right. Here's how we fix that, coaches, and it will be fixed. Watch this. Trust me. 
Every time you miss an uncontested layup, you got three pushes. Go ahead. Green team, green team, green team. Yeah, yeah. If you miss a layup down there, right there, on the spot, do your three push-up, and then speed back. On a made basket down there, ask our referees, on a made basket, you gotta take the ball out of bounds and then come in. What you did is you took it out of the rim and then you came down. You can't do that in the game. Great team in the key. Be a shooter. Five rebounders. Rebound. That's all right, go, 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 full speed, throw it in, throw it in. Okay, never mind. All right, layup. Freeze, freeze. Two of you are not in the key on that shot. That's three push-ups. All five gotta be in the key. Three, comes after two. Hold it. You guys get a rest, we got a question here. Definitely run lanes without question. So then the question for you would be then why aren't we doing it yet? Because right now we're working on speed. I want speed, 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 and then yes, we will add lanes. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Speed, get down. Go, 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 go. Lay up. Nice. Green team, jog in a circle. Shoot the ball, great. Let's go. Shoot the ball. Shoot the ball, shoot the ball. Hurry up. Go, go, speed, speed. Look up, look up. Nice. Very good. Three, you got three, you got three. No, no, you got three. You got three. Comes after two. Yeah, JR, out of boy. Yeah, let's go, great. Come on, great. Well done, JR. Good for you. More backspin on that side. Quick, quick, quick. Great shot, well done. Give it up, give it up, yeah, nice. Good job, well done, boys, all right? Get a quick drink. So one of the, one of the things that we work on is, is our speed, because we want to be quick. We want to get up down the floor quick. Running lanes, very important. We just haven't got there yet, and we don't have time today to get into lanes, but yes, very important. But we're working on speed. Anytime we're teaching a skill, doesn't matter what the skill is, there's an athletic component to it. So if you can coach both the athletic component and the skill component, you're doing your kids a huge favor, your team's going to play pretty good. So the athletic component here is speed and pace. We want to go as fast as we can. We're going to make mistakes, we're going to have bad spacing. We'll fix that as we go. So that was the athletic part, is working on speed. Now when the boys come back, we're going to work on that pass and cut with the double gap and we're gonna pass cut, get a double gap, and drive to the basket. They're gonna fast break down, and they're gonna do what we call execute coming back. I forget what number it is on your sheet on, that, on page one. Explode, explore, oh, so the last one, number 20. Explode, explore. Explode is, you go full speed. That's what we were just doing with these kids. Go full speed, explode, sprint. Explore is, as soon as someone is open, pass them the ball. If those two aren't there, explode, explore, are not there, then we execute. What do we execute? Our actions. Why do we execute actions? To get double gaps. Why do we want double gaps? To get to the rim. And then your scoring percentage goes up. There's way more to it than that, but that's just a good nutshell version. All right, uh, great team, on the floor. You're gonna do the same thing going down. We need a shooter. <clears throat> You're gonna do the same thing going down. But when you come back, when you come back, when you come back, we want two wings, one corner, and two guards when you come back. You don't have to sprint coming back. And the reason we're not sprinting coming back, all right, is because sometimes in a game, the other team's already back. It could be after a timeout. It could be whatever, where there is no sprinting involved. We're sprinting down there, scoring a layup. You don't have to sprint when you come back, but you're going to pass cut, the cutter's not open, we created a double gap, I want you to drive to the basket in that double gap. We got it? We explode down there, fast break, pace. We come back, we're going to execute, pass, cut, attack the double gap. Got it? Shooter. Here we go, Ethan. <clears throat> go, 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 go. Layup, we need a layup, we need a layup. 
Great job. No, no, throw it in, yeah, throw it in. Two wings, corner, two guards. Two wings, corner, two guards. Pass, cut, not open, drive to the basket. No, he's not open, Max. Yeah, he's not open. Okay, green team, here we go. Ball. No, you're going to shoot, Jonah, you're going to shoot. You got it? You got the drill, green? You got it? Max, you got it. Max, you'll fix this, right? You're good next time. Come on, Jonah, here we go. Nice shot. Go, go, go. Sprint, all of you. Give it up, E. Shawnee. Yeah. You got three. <clears throat> two wings, two guards, a corner. Pass, cut. Create a double gap. Drive to the basket. Hold on, George, you just drove in a single gap. William, what are you doing? Get in the corner. Hey, here's something that my girls came up with, high school age girls, last year. Um, the player in the corner was often cheating and going in closer to the rim. So the, someone said, oh, it's kind of like going to your room. And it's like, I don't know what you mean by going to your room, but I like it. So now what we say to players, go to your room. So when, you, when William starts coming into the basket, no, go to your room, which means, no, go to your room, outside the three. Yes. And, and they resonate with that go to your room so well, it's great. George, get the ball, ball back here. George on the wing. This wing. Pass it to George. Free, cut. Hang on. Where's your double gap? That's the way you drive. Go. Left hand drive. Good. Beautiful. Nice speed. a boy. Next group. Here we go. <clears throat> Full speed, George. Shoot the ball. Go ahead. Shoot the ball. Good shot. Get a layup. Get a layup. Good. Good pass. Throw it in. Here we go. Pass to the wing, pass cut, or a guard, drive. Yeah, Jonah had a boy. Very nice, very nice. Green, let's go. Shoot the ball, Cam. Come on, Green, should be ready. Shoot the ball, Cam. It's all right, it's a good look. Go, 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 go. Get the layup. Oh. It's beautiful. We want a double gap. Pass to the guard or wing, doesn't matter. Good. Nice, good drive. Good drive. These guys over here are smart. <clears throat> they're all teammates, right? And they're going push-ups, push-ups, push-ups. Because you don't have to do any. I know. OK. I want you now on the perimeter. Two wings, two guards, and a corner. <clears throat> now we're going to execute three actions in a row, pass and cut three times. On the third time, that guy drives. Watch this. We'll go slow. Pass, cut, not open. There's one action. Give him two seconds. Fill. Corner. Head under the basket. Exit to a corner. Exit to a corner. Good. Pass, cut, not open. Fill. You can pass either side. Exit to a corner. Pass, cut, drive. There's the third one. Good. Jacob, go a little quicker. Make your cut and get out of there. So now you're going to explode down when you come back. Your third action of pass and cut is the one that the guy's going to drive to the hoop. Are we good? Okay, jog in a circle. Shoot the ball green. Shot William. Here we go. Go, 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 go. Get a layup. That's three, too. Even bad passes are worth three. You're welcome. Here we go. Three passing cuts. Three passing cuts. Pass. Cut. There's one. No, that's only one. There's two. Pass and cut, two. Here's three. Drive, Cam. There's four. Drive, Kane. Cam, Cam, what do you do when you pass? Yeah. So cut. So that's, that's great. So this happens often. So Cam says he was confused. We always tell our players, whenever you're confused, just execute. Don't stop. Just execute. Get to, get to the head under the basket, get to a corner. The rest of your players will catch you up. You'll get caught up. If you stop, you're, every, every, then everything gets messed up. Just don't stop. Just keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. Bring it back here. Go ahead. Three times. 
Three times. Pass. Cut. There's one. Pass. Cut. There's two. Pass. Cut. There's three. Drive, Cam. There it is. Beautiful. Go green. Let's go green. <clears throat> go, 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 go. Sprint, sprint. Yeah, Shai, good shot. Here we go. Third action, third action. Pass, cut, there's one. Pass, cut, there's two. Phil, Phil, pass, cut, there's three. That's it, Ethan. Nice, very, very nice. Good job, good job. It's all right. Here we go, Gray. Green, because you didn't do your three push-ups, you just earned six. All right, what a day. This is a great day. Great day. It's a great day. If you would have done your three, you would have been done already. Green on the baseline, please. On the baseline. No, we haven't got to rebounding at all. Okay. Yeah, but we would. We have a rebounding system. Yeah, we just haven't got there yet. My focus is on the speed initially, so they get used to playing with speed, and then coming back trying to create double gaps. This time, gentlemen, you're going to fast break down, and when you come back and execute, you can do as many pass and cuts as you want until you get a chance to score, because it's going to be five defense. All right? Shoot the ball, Green. Shoot the ball. Okay, you five are on defense. You five are on defense. Let's go. Sean, you're on, you're on defense. Are you? For sure? <clears throat> Look to score. Pass and cut. Good. Good defense. Okay, hold on. So here's a rule. So when these things happen, we add them. Kane, come back over here. There's two of you in the same spot, right? So you guys got to fix that. Here's something else. I was mentioning this to uh, Katie earlier. Is we often, as much as possible, try to get kids to problem solve on their own. We often give them information all the time. Go here, go there, do this, do that. There was two players in the same position that time, and they hadn't solved that problem. I could have solved it for them. But if they can solve it, they're going to be better basketball players. So we let them problem solve as much as possible. You're not Kane. Jonah, go in the corner. Kane, come back here. You have the ball. Here's something we're going to add. If you are the next in line for a pass in a single gap, and you are up here denying him, get your hand up. If you, can, if you cannot see this guy to get a pass, you automatically go to the basket. If he's open, give it to him. If he's not open, what did we just create? Double gap. Now you can drive. Give him two seconds. You come up. Go ahead. Pass. Cut. Same rules. Good. Drive if it's there. Pass if it's not there. Come on. You Give him two seconds, not 22. Good. Pass. Cut. Good. Pass. Cut. Go, Cam. a boy, Cam. Good for you. Oh, shoot that. Atta boy. Good shot. Go green, your turn. Go green. Gray, you're on defense. Gray, you're on defense. Go green, full speed. <clears throat> Pass and cut, here we go. Pass and cut. Create a double gap. Go to the rim if you can't get it, William. Oh, nice cut. Go, William, cut, William. Good. Cut, cut, George. See the ball, George? Oh, nice. Yeah! Wow. That was so well done. You guys need to be clapping for those guys. That was awesome. That was awesome. Were there mistakes? Oh, all sorts of mistakes. Don't care. We got the bottom line. That was awesome, boys. That was awesome. Um, great team on offense. No, nope. get to positions. Where are you, Cam? In line with that hash line. Good. What do you do when you pass? Cut, all right? There's actually four things you can do. We're only going to add one more. You can pass to your teammate, go ahead, and go set a pick. No, nope. for your teammate, for the ball. I know. Both ways are fine. What do you got here now? When we do pick and rolls, we do them in a double gap. You'll score more. You'll score more. So now you attack the double gap on the pick and roll. Go ahead. 
Drive and roll, beautiful. And we have a good look, all right? So now, when you guys come back, you can pass and cut or pass and pick. Jog in a circle, green, shoot the ball. Man, I got hours of this stuff. It's just, I hope so. Go, 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 yeah, Jonah had a boy. Nice pass. Good shot, good shot, Cam. Defense, come on, defense. Cut. Oh, good pick, Max. Good pass, that's all right. Pass and cut or pass and pick. So, two things. One is you reach, which is a foul. All right, Your referees will tell you that later. Um, and you're trying to drive in a single gap. I know. All right. I'm going to give you guys a third option, and, then, and we got to wrap it up here real soon. Here's another option. If you get eye contact with this guy, get eye contact. Eye contact means go to the basket. Yes. What do you just create? A double gap with eye contact. So now you have three choices. You can do the eye contact, you can pass and cut, or pass and pick. Are you good? Yeah. Okay, go, go, Gray. Nice. Nice pick. Beautiful. Very nice. Throw it. Go, Green. Go, Green. Fast break, Green. Fast break, Green. Go, 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 go. Gray, you're on D. Gray, you're on D. Come on, George. Good. Oh, nice cut. Good cut. Good cut. Hold it. No, hold it. Hold it. Ball back here. If you start a cut, you must finish a cut. Go. And then exit to a corner. Give him two seconds. If he doesn't use it, now fill, William. Come on, William. Good. Oh, yeah. He was, oh, oh good luck. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Boys, get a drink. Any questions? That is just a very, very, very tiny amount of what we do when it comes to the style of play. Creating double gaps. There's all sorts of actions that we use. Um, I bet you there's 15 or 20 different ones and we just keep adding and adding and adding. We add lanes. Lanes are critical. We didn't do lanes tonight, all right? Because lanes are great for spacing real great for spacing. Um, these gentlemen, they had a couple real good things there that they did, which was phenomenal, but also a lot of mistakes. Spacing, I think, was one of the biggest issues with them, is they're too close together most of the time. So your style of play is the offense you're running. You don't run a set offense as we used to in the past. Correct, yeah. So um, setting plays, or playing basketball is, is kind of the new approach. If you look at the highest levels, whether it's Raptors, NBA, or whatever, you look at the highest levels, you can't pick out what play they're running. They don't run plays anymore. They run actions. They just read off of each other. And there's a lot of screens, a lot of handoffs. They do it all the time. Uh, the NBA is different because they try to get specific matchups where they want you guarding me, and if you are guarding me, then I'm going to be able to go to the rim better or shoot better or whatever. Yeah, so they try to get certain matchups. We don't do that with young kids, but the, the plays, there's room for plays if you really need a basket, but for the most part, plays are hardly ever run anymore. It's all now style of play, creating double gaps. My email is on some of the documents that got sent out. It's hidden in there somewhere. Just email me if you have more questions. Anything else? Let's take a, uh, ooh, one minute. Question? With the action, are we pulling that over to the team kind of that they should know how to get the deal or as a coach are we saying, you know, pick and roll? Or, you know, yeah, great, great question. Do we call out the actions as coaches? Eventually you want your players to get to a level where they just execute the actions. But if you find that they're not doing any picks, then either in a timeout or you might have a, a numbered system or a colored system, um, we actually do use the number three when we want more screens because the word screen has two E's in it and the word three has two E's in it. So we use three means we need more screens. We need more screens. What's our number one offensive priority? Get to the rim. All right, so we use number five 
to rhyme with drive, which means we're not getting to the rim often enough. So if my kids hear me say five, that means drive. And that's only because we're not doing it enough. So our first look is to get the kids to do it, and if they don't do it, then yeah, we have ways to help them out. Yeah. Cool. Let's take a one or two minute break, and then we're gonna have a, a couple referees uh, do a little referee session, and then we're gonna finish off with some shooting and shooting drills. All right, let's take a minute or two break. I can get you mic'd up.